Hi guys, it's Panop here again, and I'm back today with my review of The Batman, which I obviously wasn't able to see in cinemas. Pandemic, lockdown, all that stuff. And if you've seen my other videos, you'll know I wasn't particularly excited about it, but I bought it on Blu-ray recently, because it was on sale. And I watched it, and actually I thought it was pretty good. Um, the short version, and the version I'll be putting in the... In the uh, title of this video will be that it, I thought it was a good Batman movie that was slightly too long. Um, in general, um, I wouldn't say... Obviously, it's not a unique tone for a Batman film. It's dark and grim, and you, you're shooting you know, a mixture of a European city and an American city to make a suitably gothic area, in this case Glasgow and bits of Chicago, I think. Um, but in general, I liked it. You know, Robert Pattinson, it's been proven by now that he's a good actor. I don't think anyone doubts that, you know. Um, and he's good as Bruce Wayne, and he's good as as Batman. Andy Serkis, I really liked Andy Serkis as Alfred. Um... I'm not sure, um, I forget the actress's name, but the woman who played Catwoman, she did a good job also, um, and I liked Paul Dano as the Riddler, so all the performances really were, were really good, everyone is, it's, it's a, it's a well-made, very good film, my only problem with, with it, as I've said in the title, and as I'll say throughout this video, is I thought it was slightly too long, there were, there were bits in the middle where, not in the middle actually, in the last act when Gotham was being flooded, where it's dragging slightly and it did feel to me at least, just in my opinion, it felt to me as if, um, you know, people were, um, like somebody had come in and said, okay, we need a large action set piece for this last bit of the movie or it's not going to work. Because the other, the, you know, the rest of the movie, as anyone who's seen it will know, is a, is a a steadily paced detective thriller that's quite enjoy enjoyable to watch and it, and it looks great. But then you have the flooding bit and it feels like... It, it just feels like it's been not tacked on, but added in when someone reminded them that they needed a slightly more action or they, th or they thought they did. So, for example, in my video, I'd say that there's enough action in the first part of those films to justify it, because it's not it's not the Dark Knight, and it's not Batman vs Superman, where you have to see Batman punch a lot of dudes. Batman's in this movie. Batman is intimidating on his own; doesn't have to punch that many people. So for them to have a scene where there's a bit more CGI and a bit more punching closer to the end of the film feels kind of tacked on. But anyway, that's my only criticism. In general, I would say that The Batman is a good movie that you should see. <laughs> okay, I'll uh, be back later with a different video. See you guys. Bye.